Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will see investigate threats with content search in Microsoft Purview. In this video, we will search for the content in Microsoft Purview compliance portal using content search functionality, including how to view and export the search results and configure search permissions filtering. So if we want a brief introduction about the content search, so it is one of the key features in the Microsoft Purview compliance portal. It is designed for times when the full fleshed search case management of e-discovery is not required. Content search is ideal for quick searches across content in Microsoft 365. A common example is searching for specific credit card numbers or uh, a part of data uh, DLP project, right? Content search is also useful when you must complete last searches across all your organization's mailboxes and SharePoint sites that exceed the limitations of using e-discovery search. And content search is a tool in the Microsoft Purview compliance portal which can help us quickly find email in the Exchange mailboxes, documents in SharePoint sites and OneDrive location and instant messaging conversations in Skype for business. Many companies Use the content search tool to search for email, documents, and instant messaging conversations in collaboration tools such as Microsoft Teams and Microsoft 365 Groups. All right, so uh, we're going to talk about Microsoft Purview eDiscovery solutions. So eDiscovery is also known as electronic discovery. It is the process of identifying and delivering electronic information that can be used as evidence in legal cases. Organizations can use e-discovery tools in Microsoft Purview to search for the content in Exchange Online, OneDrive for Business, SharePoint Online, Microsoft Teams, Microsoft 365, Groups, Yammer Teams. We can also search mailboxes and sites in the same e-discovery search. It can then export the search results as well. Microsoft Purview e-discovery standard. Cases can identify, hold and export content found in mailboxes and sites. So there are some e-discovery solutions. So Microsoft Purview provides three discovery solutions, content search, e-discovery standard and e-discovery premium. So the video that we, uh, we started is focused on content search, but you should know the difference between solutions provides an overall context. So the content search, search for content, keyword queries, export search results and role based permissions. E-discovery standard, it is also, it also search and export, case management legal hold, and your e-discovery premium. It is the custodian management legal hold notification, advanced indexing, review set filtering, tagging, analytics, predictive coding models, and more. So we'll focus on content search, which I explained earlier as well, is a tool that can be used to search for content across Microsoft 365 data sources and it can also then export the search results to your local computer. I'll tell you the difference between uh, e-discovery standard, e-discovery premium, I, uh, you can refer to the Microsoft documentation. So if I want to talk about the description of e-discovery capabilities, search for content, keyword queries and search con conditions search the statistics, export search results, role-based permissions and case management. So if you want to create a content search in the compliance portal to search for email documents or the instant messages conversation. So after you run a search, the number of content locations and an estimated number of search results are displayed on the search flyout page. Then you can quickly view statistics such as content locations that have the most items that match the search query. After you run a search, you can preview the results or export them to your local computer. Now in the Microsoft Purview compliance, so if you do compliance.microsoft.com. So if you are already logged in onto the Defender portal, if you, you will open compliance.microsoft.com, it will log in with the same credentials. Okay, so welcome to Microsoft Purview Compliance Portal. And here you go to Content Search. 
click on new search so this will initiate the new search wizard in the new search wizard on the name and description enter a name for the search and an optional so test test click on next on the locations page choose the content locations that you want to search you can search mailboxes sites and uh, public folder so let's say I want to search everything this is a test right and add app connector for on-premise users as well so you can uh, set the toggle on and then understand under the included column select choose users groups so you can here click on whose mailboxes you want to check this is a demo environment so I don't have what are the sites that you want to check and if you want to add an app content for on-premise users so you keep this checkbox selected to search for teams content for on-premise users for example if you search all exchange mailboxes in the organization and this checkbox is selected the cloud-based storage used to store teams chat data for on-premise users will be included in the scope of the search okay let's say I don't want to search this so in under the define your search conditions you can condition card builder or kql editor so if you select kql editor you can enter the the command here like this i want to do sender domain i can do microsoft.com and if you select the condition card builder keep in mind that you must specify conditions as keywords message properties document properties okay click on next this give you the review to review for your search and create it if you want to edit anything and then you click on submit After that, it is done. You can view the search results and statistics. Let's say you submit it. This will create a new search. I'll pause the video and come back. New search created, done. Now, if you are here and your search is running, right? You review the sample. I don't have any data I don't have any environment but this is where you will come right so when you have data a page is displayed containing a sample of the search results in the list of search results select an item to view its contents in the reading page so it's like you are checking the alerts right so you click on an alert you get the full alert story in here you click on the sample and then you will get the a detailed so a maximum of thousand randomly selected items are available to preview in addition to being randomly selected the items available for pre preview must have should be the following criteria a maximum of 100 items from a single content location uh, for mailboxes items only email messages are available to preview for site for SharePoint sites only documents are available to preview And you can also view statistics for e-discovery search result after using the content search or a search associated with the Microsoft Purview e-discovery. It can use statistics around about the estimated search results as well. To display statistics for a content search or a search associated with e-discovery, when you are onto the portal, let me go back. You click on content search, you close it, you click on content search you can see the con search content as well when you have uh, the data around it so this is what I want to do discuss about e-discovery there are certain things like configuring search permission filtering search for uh, delete email messages that you can browse to Microsoft documentation 
and can actually lay out a plan to implement it in your fraud environment. I hope this video was informative for all of you guys. If you have any further queries, please mention them in the comment section and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you. Have a good day.